In this video, we'll understand how to use VLOOKUP formula. The main purpose of this formula is to look up value in a big data table and give you a corresponding value back that is available in the same row. The prerequisite of this formula is that the value you are looking up should be on the left hand side of the table and the value which you need in return should be on the right hand side. Which means that you can't look for a value on the right hand side to return a value from the left hand side. We'll understand this in detail with an example. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel Learn in 5 Minutes. So let's start. So as an example, we have three sheets over here. One sheet contains the basic info of our salesperson like email address and mobile number. Whereas in another sheet that is revenue sheet, we have the revenue which our salesperson has generated. And the third sheet has the cost info which has been incurred on our salesperson that is salary commission and allowance. The objective here is to consolidate all these three sheets so that we come to know at a glance that how much we have spent on our salesperson and how much revenue they have gotten for the company. So we can consolidate this entire data with the help of VLOOKUP. So what we'll do is we'll apply VLOOKUP formula in this basic info sheet and fetch the data from revenue sheet and cost sheet. So we'll have the consolidated data available in our basic info sheet. So let's get going. Our VLOOKUP formula needs four arguments. As you can see over here, lookup value, that is the value which we need to search. Second is table array. This is the range of cells in which we are going to search our lookup value. The third one is the column index number. The column number in the range that contains the written value. So for example, if we are passing table array as B2 to D12, then B will be our first column c will be our second column and d will be our third column so depending upon where our result is stored we need to pass that column number the fourth one is the range lookup optionally we can specify true if we want an approximate match or false if we want an exact match of the return value if we don't specify anything the default value will always be true that is approximate match but over here we'll use it false since we want the exact match so let us start feeding our VLOOKUP with the arguments it requires. So our lookup value here is SP1. The next argument is table array, which is residing in revenue sheet. So we'll select our table array from A2 till B26. The third argument, which is column index number in our case is two, because A is our first column and B is our second column. And we want to fetch the revenue from this column. So we'll pass two over here and the final argument that is true or false over here we need an exact match so we'll select false and we'll close our parenthesis so you can see over here we got revenue of sp1 from the revenue sheet so sp1 31000 dollars and we got this revenue over here 31000 dollars let us give the currency formatting over here and let us get rid of this decimals we'll give a header over here so let us freeze our table array range by pressing F4 so that when we copy paste the formula, the range doesn't get disturbed. So now we can just copy this formula and paste it in all the cells below. So we have revenue of each and every sales person in this basic info sheet. Now, similarly, let us extract our data from the cost sheet that is salary commission and allowance. Our VLOOKUP value here again will be sp1 and our table array will be from cost sheet this will start from a2 till e26 now since we want salary first our column number of salary is 2 over here so we'll pass 2 and false so we got salary over here let us apply the formatting again we'll freeze the cells so that range doesn't get disturbed and copy paste in remaining cell so you can see we even got salary from our cost sheet. Now extracting commission would be pretty simple for us. We'll just copy this exact formula from here and paste it over here and just change our column number since our commission is in third column. And similarly, our allowance will be in fourth column. So we'll just pass number four over here instead of three and again apply the formatting now we'll copy both these formulas 
and paste it in the remaining cells and we are done there is another function h lookup which also works in the similar manner except that v is for vertical lookup and h is for horizontal lookup so if our data table has column headers then we'll need v lookup and if our data table has row headers then we'll need h lookup to understand in detail you can see my video on h lookup the link is provided in the i button above so that's all in this video if you found this video useful please like and share with your friends and if you have not subscribed to this channel do it right now and press the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that i upload thanks for watching